Hi friends, how are you today? Happy Friday, it's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. And I hope you're having a great Friday or whatever day you're watching on. And we are gonna make a really fun card today. It's fun because it's called a fun fold. And it is really pretty, even if I even if I do say so myself. So let me just check here and make sure we're on. Make sure things are going right. Let me get my glasses so I can see you commenting and everything. So let's check here. Okay, it looks like we are live. That's good. That's good. One heart. We always like hearts. Um, so it's a great Friday. We have had a beautiful, beautiful sunny day here in Southern California in the 60s. Um, it's been really nice. We've really been enjoying it. And it's nice to have the sun back. We had rain yesterday and a little bit the day before. And so it's really nice to have the sun. And plus my pictures, when I take the pictures of my cards, they come out a lot better when it's sunny because I take them using sunlight. Cherie, good to see you. Tina, Marsha Fonte, good to see you. Holly, yes, Ellie has pigtails today. Can you tell? They're different. You've got pigtails, don't you, baby? Yeah, she let me put two little ponies in, which was a big day, a big deal. Marsha Long, good evening from Texas. Kay, good to see you from North Carolina. Okay, well, I'm having um, a local class tomorrow, so I've been working on things. So that the um, card that we're going to make today is from my, we're going to make in my class tomorrow. So don't tell them, okay? Okay. I'm going to give, hi Roz, good to see you. Um, I'm going to give Ellie a little cookie and see if she might stay a little bit longer. Would you stay longer with the cookie? <laughs> She's been a good girl today, she really has. And she loves it when the ladies come tomorrow. She will love it. Um, she, If I tell her the ladies are coming, she knows what that means. And she gets all excited and watches for them. She gets up on the chair in the living room that looks out the window and she watches. I can't tell her until like about 10 minutes before they're coming because she gets really, really excited. So we're looking forward to fun tomorrow. Um, Margaret Gordon, good to see you from Sydney, Australia. I love when you come on, all of my international people. I haven't seen Anthony today from London, but we might. Okay, so there is so much going on. You guys know about the new catalog coming out May 2nd. This catalog ends May 1st. And actually, um, <laughs> so I'm going to, what I wanted to tell you, I have a lot to tell you really. And I've seen the new catalog and it is great. It is, it's fabulous. And oh boy, the color refresh. I love it. I'm sad my mint macaron is gone, is leaving, but I'm really, really happy about the new colors that are coming in to the core colors. And I'm gonna, I don't have pictures of them today. I hope to next time, but I'm gonna tell, tell you about them. Okay, I'm gonna put Ellie down because, um, there is just so much I want to show you. Let me get out my stuff so we can talk. We're going to have a talk because I want you to know everything so you are aware of what's happening. So let me put switch you down. And the first thing we're going to talk about is retiring in colors. You guys are aware already of the retiring in colors. And let me just move this around here. Tammy, I think I saw Tammy. Did I see Tammy Hogue on here? Um, Linda, good to see you. So retiring in colors. Evening Evergreen. Uh-oh, Fresh Freesia. Guess what? It's staying. Fresh Freesia is the only one of the current in colors that's staying. I hope you guys are excited. I'm trying to read these comments. Um, Marcia Fonte, your, your English cockers uh, surfed purses under the table during your last Stampin' Up! party. Oh my gosh. 
The dog before Ozzy. Oh boy. They are so fun. Yes, they are. Okay. I'm not going to get distracted with dogs. Um, Fresh Freesia is staying. So you can, for those of you who love Fresh Freesia, which I do, take that off your worry list because that is staying. It's the only one of the five current in colors, the 21, 23 in colors that are retiring, that is staying. Okay. Evening Evergreen is retiring. Pale Papaya is retiring. Polished Pink is retiring. And Soft Succulent is retiring. And it's sad. It really is. So um, what you need to know, you wanted, I know, okay, you wanted Soft Succulent to stay. Truthfully, I wanted all of these colors to stay because they're my favorites in a long time. What you need to know, all of the ink pads are on low inventory. I checked before I came on, soft succulent blends are gone. So no more soft succulent blends. So again, like I tell you, every time I see you recently, if you want something that's retiring, get it now. So these four, everything, ribbons, everything to do with these four are retiring. Um, okay. Other colors retiring, and you we sh we looked at this the other day. I don't know. I don't think I showed it to you, my Friday gals. Bermuda Bay, Blushing Bride, Mango Melody, uh, Mary Merlot, Mint Macaron. That's the one I'm saddest about. Pear Pizzazz, Pacific Point, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, So Saffron, and Soft Suede. Again, if you want anything from these, get them now. These things will not be discounted. The color items are not discounted. Now, I've mentioned this before. Um, what you need to know is that we know now what's retiring. We have the retiring list, and I posted these on my Facebook page that you're, some of you, I'm, I know some of you are watching on YouTube, and I welcome you, and thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, I posted the retiring list the other day. So you can drop down and see them. They're PDFs. You can print them out and everything. The writing is pretty tiny, but you can see those. Now, the thing to know that's very important is we know what's retiring. You can buy any of it right now. Many things are not marked down, but beginning April 4th, certain retiring items are going on sale. And up to 60% off. So what I, you have to weigh this because people know that things are retiring. They might be buying them now and possibly the items won't be available on April 4th. I don't know. I hope I said April before, April 4th, 2023. So there's no guarantee that they're those items that are retiring and are discounted will be there on April 4th because all of the retiring items are while supplies last. So if there's something you really, really, really want, um, weigh your options as far as um, is it worth it to wait and possibly not get it at a discount for the discount or do I want it so bad that I need to get it now and forego the discount? So you need to ponder those things, okay? So I'm going to show, well, let me just show you some more retiring things that I wanted to talk about today. So I pulled out some of my favorite items that are retiring, things that I'm kind of crying about. My nested friends, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is retiring, the whole entire thing. The funny part about it is it says on the retiring list, it has three little dots, which means Something is retiring, but not everything is retiring. But you know, that's not true. They've been make. there are a few mistakes, just a few on the retiring list, and this does not appear in the new catalog. So it is retiring, the whole thing. Now, this is an example of where the bundle is still the same. That's not gonna get, to get, get a discounted price. The stamp set well they don't have any prices because they think this is carrying off but i'm over but i'm pretty sure the dies are going to be 60 percent off when you go in on april 4th because that's the way it is with most of the sets um but they haven't because the retiring list was wrong on this item i don't know all i know is i'm so thankful that i have it because i love it i saw someone recently made a card where they had a cross for Easter 
and they made they cut this out of like crumb cake and made it like the um, crown of thorns and hung it on the cross. That was a here it is. I brought my my one of my favorite cards out, and I can see how that would be true. So I'm telling you some of, some of my faves. I want you to be aware of what's retiring. Okay, this is another shock. Framed florets, you guys. I feel like we just got framed florets. And these beautiful oval dies. And this is the case here. The bundle you can get now. And when it's retiring, there's no discount except the standard 10% discount on a bundle. Um, framed florets are same price, no discount at the stamp set, but the die set, okay, I wrote this down, it's going to be 60% off. So it's normally $37. On April 4th, it's going to be $14.80. Huge, huge discount. Just a humongous discount. So if you want to take notes, and I, I'm going to, we're going to do a fun fold card, and you're probably going to want to take notes because I'm not going to write up a tutorial for it or anything. So you might get out some paper or watch this again. This item number is 160623 and it's on page 65 of the mini catalog, the spring mini. So these will be 60% off on April 4th and I want to say if any are left. Okay. Then this is my third fave and I don't, I don't think I love any as much as I love these. You guys, the Queen Bee set. I feel like we just got it. And, um, hi, Allison. Good to see you. So the Queen Bee set, the entire thing is retiring. So just like with the florets, the bundle price is the same that's in the catalog. The, the stamp set is the same that it is in the catalog, but the dies... You guys, they're normally $32. On April 4th, they're going to be 60% off for a total of only $12.80 if they're still avail available on April 4th. And the item number is 160484, and it's on page 26 of the mini catalog. These, I'm, I, I love these sets that I've just showed you, and they are not going anywhere fast because I love these. So those are my faves. Now I'll be showing you throughout the month, I'll be keeping you advised of what's still available and what the prices are and everything. Uh-oh. Oh, are you okay? She's just eating her toy. I thought she was chewing something of mine. Okay. Hello, Carol Schaefer from Connecticut. Uh, Marsha, who, who decides what's going? Um, you know, they told us, they did a little explanation and some of it is they keep the real popular things. Other thing is our availability. Um, there are a lot of things that go into it. And um, they don't just make it haphazardly. They really think about every single thing and they think about what's upcoming also. All right, thinking about the retired retiring stuff gets me depressed. So let's look at some new in colors. These are the new 2023 to 2025 in colors. Um, wild Wheat, Boho Blue, we kind of knew that, but it looks lighter here. I think, I thought it would be the darkness, the shade of our mini machine, but it is lighter. I like it. Pebbled Path, and that's kind of a gray, and they were saying that apparently this is like a super popular color right now. They do a lot of research on the colors. Um, Moody Mauve, which I kind of like. It reminds me of one we had some years ago called Rococo Rose, if any of you remember that. Um, and Copper Clay, which actually I think we're going to like. It, it really is very pretty in what we've seen. So these are the new in colors, okay? These come out with the new catalog. Now, um, um, once you buy it, no need to buy another one. That could be true, Roz, because I know they keep, they, you know, they support us because they keep bringing in good products. Oh, another thing going. Well, you, I put on my Facebook page, you saw, most of you probably know the Stamparatus is going. Yeah, 
the, re the stamp apparatus is retiring. There's no discount on it. Um, and the reason they've given is that it's a legal matter. So there, I appreciate Stampin' Up! They always do you take the high road. That's been my experience. So they're discontinuing the stamp apparatus. So if you need anything, if you don't have it, I would say get it. And if you need any accessories, I'll tell you what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna order um, a whole bunch of these. Um, let me grab it, because I don't think I had it out for today. And this one's kind of messy. My little grid papers that I use all the time. There's, it's so much better when you're on a live to use the little grid paper, and that is the grid paper for the Stamparatus. So I'm gonna get a bunch of those. Okay, the Stamparatus is retiring. What else is retiring? The layering circle dies. I thought I got those, um, but I guess I didn't. Maybe I did? Yes, I brought those over. I forgot to put them with the retired my retired pile. Um, there's no discount on them. They're $35, but they have, we, they're coming out with new punches, new circle punches. But I will tell you, there's nothing that cuts like these big circles. So if you don't have the layering circle punches or uh, dies, be sure to get those. And you can get those right away because those are only, those are not going on discount. Okay, now I wanted to give you the names of the new colors. I don't have pictures of them yet. Um, Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst is coming back. Some of you remember that. Let's, Linda, we're just going to talk about the new things. Magnets, yes, get the magnets for the Stamparatus. Um, don't be depressed though, because when you look at the retiring things, you can be a little bit down. But I'm telling you, I'm just going to give you the names of these new, these are the new colors that are going into our core color um, families with the color refresh. And I'm not kidding you, they are beautiful. I love a couple so much. Berry Burst, I loved when we had it before. That's a, a returning color. Blueberry Bushel is a beautiful blue. That's coming back. Okay, you guys, my already favorite new color it's the light pink we've been asking for, bubble bath. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, I'm telling you. Then I mentioned that Fresh Freesia, Fresh Freesia is going into the main color line. That'll be a subtle. Lemon Lime Twist. Some of you remember Lemon Lime Twist from the past. It's a beautiful color. Okay, my second favorite color in the new colors. Holly loves... Um, Oh, you guys are commenting quick. Berry Burst and Blueberry Bushel. Yeah, they're beautiful. You're going to love them if you've never seen them. My second favorite color coming back is, or not coming back, being introduced newly is Lemon Lolly. So I really liked So Saffron because I'm kind of a subtles girl. This is yummy. It's kind of like, I would say, lemon pudding, maybe a light color of lemon meringue pie. The light, if it was a light lemon, it's luscious luscious lemon lolly I love it so this and bubble bath are my two faves already lost lagoon is a returning color misty moonlight is a returning color pecan pie is a new one and it's very pretty and then pretty peacock we all loved pretty peacock so 11 colors left 11 colors came on and as soon um, there's nothing for us to download about the new colors really all together so this weekend I'm going to work on making a graphic and I'll have that up for next week so whew, but it's all good wonderful new things coming in I'm getting ready for April 4th we get to pre-order and the sale prices go live so make your list and get ready for April 4th um, I don't know if it's a specific time or not I think it maybe it just starts at midnight mountain time I don't know Okay, so a lot to look forward to. Lots of fun stuff. Now, I have sent catalogs to all my, uh, for the past year, anyone who has ordered from me online or you've like called me and asked me to order online. So if that isn't the case for you and you want a catalog from me, just email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com and let me know you want a catalog and I'll get one to you. Um, I've already had Stampin' Up! send out all the catalogs to my um, existing customers for the past year. and But I'm going to get a bunch more so I can mail you one if you want it. All right. 
Now, let's get in a good mood because today's card is cute and it's even going to be cuter than this. I've made this once before. I don't know if it was on a Friday or Wednesday, but this is a very fun fold card. Do you see how that how that is? And we're going to make it at my class tomorrow. So, um, I thought I would make it with you just for fun because it is fun and it uses some retiring items. Now, I'm going to do this area a little different, but I have to use a lot of polished pink, you guys. I love polished pink, so we're going to use that. This item is not retiring. I forget what they call this. It's a beautiful gold kind of, uh, not a shimmer paper, but it's real pretty. That is not retiring. Um, but, okay, here's another bit of sadness. Um, the butterfly brilliant set is retiring. This is a two stamp set, two package stamp set. And I will tell you from looking at the new catalog, there are no butterflies like this. And as far as I could see, I didn't see any butterfly dies. So the stamp set is retiring. The, the two pack stamp set is not discounted, but I'm, use, I'm using, um, let's see which butterfly I think I use this butterfly for our card and this butterfly brilliant wings die set yet yeah, this is no nothing is a single stamp there all these different butterflies are in here why do I have there it's a two pack oh hmm. oh maybe I have two of them wow I do wow I it's not a two I I must have grabbed something wrong because this says one and there is a second one. I just didn't grab it. I'm sorry. Thank you for catching that. Yes, there is a, a second one. I don't know why I have a second brand new set. Wow. You never know when you start cleaning out, you know. But the dies, there are 12 different dies and here they are. These are all the dies. Now the dies are discounted like I mentioned to you before. 60% off starting on um, April 4th. They're originally $44 for this die set. And on April 4th, they'll be $17. The item number is 155523, and they're on page 169 of the annual catalog. Um, I'm telling you, on April 4th, that I think our, our company website is going to be crazy. I don't even know if we'll be able to get in. It's going to be so crazy. So that's why I used this butterfly. I used things I wanted to show you. And the paper we're using is Delicate Desert. And that is, it's a DSP, and that is 30% off. So the uh, quite a few of the DSPs are marked down, not the solid colors. But we're going to do a little something different. We're not going to make this exact card. We're going we're gonna to make the design the same fun fold. And that's the first thing I'm going to show you. Okay. So you start with an eight and a half, a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. And you might want to take notes because, oh, I did buy two so I could stamp them separately or together with the dies. <laughs> oh, Pam, you're right. Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. It actually did come all as one. It came all as one. Are you serious? Really? It does come all as one. Wow. You have a great memory, Pam. You have an amazing memory. I didn't even remember that. So I have, but I never even used this. Never used. Wow. What a great memory. Thank you. I am telling you, I'm relying on you guys so much these days, it's hysterical. Okay, I'm just gonna, I've been having a, the weather's been changing, you know, from rain to dry, and it always makes your nose run. Okay, so we're gonna make this fold, and I don't know the name, again, you know me, typical. I don't know the name, but um, we. I'm gonna show you, so if you want to know, take notes, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to Oh, I have my, um, where is that? Okay, oh boy, oh boy. Three and a quarter. Okay, I go on three and a quarter. I put it on three and a quarter here. 
let me check with my old timey ruler. I had my little directions, but I put it over with all my stuff for my class tomorrow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is three and a quarter. Yeah, okay. And I've got my um, my scoring blade, and I'm going to come in one inch. And you know, I've explained to you why I put this little thin quarter inch piece of cardstock. I glued it with a few glue dots so that I can see those measurements better. So I'm going to score in one inch at three and a three and a quarter, and then I'm going to lift it up and come down and score in one inch from five and a half to four and a half. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I turn it vertically and I put the right side on the one inch mark. I'm going to bring my uh, cutting blade up and I'm going to start my cutting blade right at that three and a quarter mark. So I bring it down to three and a quarter and I'm going to go down to I'm going to go down four and a quarter, so it'll be to the to the seven and a half mark. Okay, three and a quarter to seven and a half, just like that. And then I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing. Three and a quarter. And you could replay this if you wanted to, to get the measurements. Two, seven and a half. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to where I did my, to where I did my three and a quarter um, scoring. And now I'm going to score at four and a quarter in between the cut marks. Okay. Uh, no. No cutting. You have to be careful of it. So four and a quarter from over here, from the left side, across to, from one to one, okay? All right, then we go down to the bottom here. I guess I'll turn it over. I know it's confusing. And I come in one inch to, this, to the cut mark here with one inch at the opposite end one inch over here, and then I do the same thing at two inches. You know, I don't even know how you could follow me. I really don't. Maybe some of you have made this before, and we're going to do the same thing at two inches, and I think it's going to come out right. Let's, we'll give it a test, okay? If you know the name of this, um, Polly Libby from North Carolina. Okay, so here we go. Fold, this is the little one inch. Fold in on the two inch. Fold down there and fold down there. And there it is, it is correct. Okay, I don't know. When I post this, I may post a picture of um, my sample. I may take a picture of my little sample because um, it's pretty, pretty handy. Okay, so let's do some scoring. And if you know the name of this fun fold card, let me know. Because I really, I actually really like it. Okay, there we go. I think I just folded a tiny bit there. Okay, so there it is. Can you see it sideways? Yes. Sidestep card. I think that's right. A sidestep card. Yes. I like that, Allison. Um, I like that. Okay. Sidestep card. So there we go. We've got the base finish. So that's really all that you can do with any cardstock, any stamp set, anything. So I thought I would just use some retiring items. Oh, guess what? <laughs> I put my directions right in here. Here's my little directions. Okay, I will take a picture of this for you guys and post it on my blog. Okay, 
So I think let's do the outside first. And I've got lots of little pieces. We're going to do it just a little bit differently today. And I've got this pretty paper again to go on the sides. And the way we do it, let me see the name of this, you guys, because it is so pretty and it is continuing into the new catalog. So let me pull it up here and see if I can't find it. This is the mini. I'm trying to think, was it in the mini or was it in the annual? I think it was in the annual. Let me check because I, it's beautiful and it's beautiful for the holidays too. Now let's see if we can find it here. I know they had a page with the special papers. That's what we're, there we go. Distressed gold 12 by 12 inch specialty paper and it's $5 for two 12 by 12 sheets. It is beautiful, it really is. Yes, put price if you want a prize. Okay, so this, this is a one inch right here. So um, that is one, well, let me just read it to you from my little directions here. No, I don't have it there. So this little piece on each side, you're gonna have seven eighths by three and one eighth because I didn't wanna cut it in a quarter, a full quarter of an inch. I want the gold to show a little more now, Allison will be coming tomorrow, so Allison will already know how to do this. And I think it's so pretty when you get it all finished. And I think this one's going to be even prettier than the sample. I really do. And on this gold, I want you to know I don't use too much, okay? I only use um, too much glue. I use very little glue. That little piece doesn't look quite right, but I guess it is. I don't use too much glue because the paper is very, very thin and it's likely to um, it's likely to show blobs and we don't want that to happen. So again, seven eighths. What are you doing, Ellie? Oh, she wants to get out. My husband uh, closed the door so she'd stay in with me. <laughs> Okay, so there are our two sides. Let me just pull this in just a little bit. Okay. And then you'll notice there's no scoring here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this piece down along the bottom. Isn't that just gorgeous paper? See how pretty that is? Um, so we're gonna do this. We'll lay this right across and again this is seven eighths across and we know our we know our measurement here is five and a half so it's it's just one eighth back of five and a half that's how I think of things in my in my number mind <laughs> and this piece let's see there we go there's one side that's better and I think maybe Let's see. What are my measurements of this? No, they're the same. I bet it's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the desert. This is one of the desert pieces that I love so much. Either this side has some shells on it, so um, I don't know. I didn't think that would look as pretty, but I think it looks really beautiful right there, and it goes so well with the gold. I think. So, and it just comes down and touches the, the gold piece that's along the bottom, just like that. Isn't that just pretty? Just without anything, I think it's so pretty. And then when you, when you pull it back and the pink shows, kind of like that. Distressed gold, yeah. It does make the two, yeah, I don't use this distressed gold on very much, meaning I I don't use it on, um, I don't use it, the, I use it very lightly. Okay, so I'm going to, I put everything over with my, gosh, I put everything over with my stuff for tomorrow. 
So what I want to do is just do a little bit of blending. Let's see if I still have some polished pink on that. I think if I use just a bit of Mill and Mambo, I don't think we'll notice the difference. So I'll go with Mill and Mambo. And I just want to blend a little bit on the butterfly. I just love these butterflies. And it just makes them look, just to blend a, just a little bit. It just takes one second to blend them like that. Isn't that pretty? And it's going to pull in with our uh, paper so well. Okay, so I'm not putting a sentiment on this, um, and I'm not for tomorrow either because I want everybody to just, it's such a pretty card, you might want to go without a sentiment, or you can, um, you can just do whatever you want. Put a small sentiment down at the bottom. So I cut out, I punched out a circle, the two inch, with a new cir two inch circle punch of uh, gold glimmer paper, and that is in the new catalog. And then I cut out some of our beautiful flowers from Hues of Happiness, right? I love these flowers, don't you guys? And I hate to see these go too. So I've got, should we use, we could use one flower, we could use um, two flowers, and then what I'm gonna do is just put the butterfly up like that. I think I might tuck the flower under a little bit. I think that's what I'll do. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue down the flower, and then I'll put the glimmer paper on top. We'll have that be up, up there, and then we're going to use some dimensionals, a couple of dimensionals to hold our glimmer paper in. You can just decorate the center of your card any way you like. Um, this is just what I've chosen to do today. I kind of want the, the little dark center to show of that flower so they know it's a flower. And then I'll put the butterfly up there. And the one thing I like about this size butterfly <clears throat> is that the body is big enough for one mini dimensional. And when you are using glimmer paper, really the only thing, the only adhesive I found that works on glimmer paper is a mini dimensional. Yes, we love the hues of happiness paper so much. Okay. Isn't that just sweet? Put it up a little bit more. You know, you can just do anything. Now, I want to do the inside. Whoops. And um, for the inside, I actually decided to use quite a bit of this paper just to finish it off because it's such a pretty, pretty um, card that... I, want, I just wanted to use a piece of the Distressed Gold right in there, and this is, let me check, three by five and a quarter, yeah. So we're just going to glue this down, because of a fancy card like this, you know, you need a fancy inside, that's what I think. So we'll just kind of get that centered like that press lightly and then we'll put our white piece which is just one quarter less so two and three quarters by five I think would be the right measurement and we'll go ahead and put this right on just those edges just show out it just brings the the outside in like they say when you're decorating a house and I'm just kind of wondering since I have these extra flowers maybe we and there's a lot of room here for writing. I think we'll just put a little flower inside there. Let's just do that. And this fits a standard envelope. I didn't really, I have an envelope, but I don't have a, I'm, there's no stamping because I'm not putting on a, on a sentiment. So there's our pretty, yes, step fold card. I think Allison said that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I think we need to put a little something inside of, on the bo body of that butterfly, don't you? Let me look at my embellishments. I keep them here. Hmm. Okay, there are some iridescent rhinestones. Let me see. Oh, I've got pearls. I've got these pretty pearls, but I don't think they're dark enough pink. 
I don't know, they're pretty gorgeous. I think I'm wanting to use these. I think I might put two on there because I think two will fit on the body. These pearls have been so beautiful. We've had them for a couple years. Um, and they're, I, I think, I think almost all the embellishments are retiring. I didn't have a chance to look real closely, but I know quite a few are. Usually they retire most of the embellishments. We'll make, we'll give them a pearl. It's got to be a her because she's pink and she has a pearl body. And let's just pull up her little antennas. I can't believe the dye. I went ahead and pre-cut it with before and it even has the little antennas of the butterfly. Can you see that? I know it's a little bit hard to see. Isn't that just gorgeous? I, I'm going to be sad to see these things go, but you know what? We're going to make so many pretty things. And as soon as I get my pre-order, I'm going to order on the 4th next Tuesday. And as soon as I get that, we're going to play. Okay, let's go. Let's go up. So get ready. As soon as I get my pre-order, we're going to start using stuff. And you're going to start to see a lot. So you'll know what to get on May 2nd. All right. So our prize from last time, the card we made actually, we made an Easter egg card, I think, last time using the, the eggs from the Nested Friends set, didn't we? I think we did. Oh, we could use Wink of Stella. That's right. That's right. So from last week, um, I think we used some Petal Pink Stampin' Blends. And so that was the prize, is a package of Petal Pink Stampin' Blends. And I did the random number generator, and the winner is Marsha Fonte. Marsha, congratulations! You won the blends. And I, I have your address, so I will be sending you these blends. And Petal Pink is a color that's continuing, so you will definitely be able to use these. I think I've gone through a couple of them because it's a very light color. So. Congratulations, Marsha. I'm so excited for you. I'm always excited for everybody who wins. Um, yes, yay, Marsha. And so our prize for next week, I went through a bunch of my cards, and I know you guys like my cards, so I've got a stack of cards here for you, four cards. And um, here's one from the Gingerbread House from uh, the holiday catalog last year, but it just says sending love. I made it like a non-gingerbread a non um, kind of card. So that's one of the cards. And then this is one we just recently made um, with the new um, elegant border dies on, that, on the border of that card. And then it opens up and you write on the inside. Okay, so that's another one. And then I pulled from a couple holiday uh, cards and this is a holiday, a Christmas card, where you put your, you can put a, a note or a gift card or something down in there. And then this was one of my favorite Valentine cards that we, I think we made this together. So you've got a Valentine card and a Christmas card, and um, actually there are two fresh freesia, two fresh freesia cards. So it's a little pack of four of my handmade cards. So. I, um, if you want to win that, put the word prize. And oh my gosh, lots of new stuff today, right? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And um, I hope you have a really great weekend. Just for your information, my basketball team from San Diego State, where I went and my husband went, I don't know if you heard, they made it to the final four in the basketball championship. We are so excited, and that game comes on tomorrow. So I, we're all just shocked they made the first time ever the college has gotten that far. So the whole town is just nuts. And um, I don't know if they'll win anymore, but we're just thrilled they got as far as they did. So that's our big, that's what we're doing this weekend is watching that basketball game on Saturday. So thank you all so much. I hope you have a great weekend. 